Hello, and welcome to Market Insights. Today, we're going to talk about politics. It's a touchy subject, so before we start, please understand our political analysis is meant to be nonpartisan. We assess politics solely on how developments may impact markets. Stocks are up nicely since the U.S. election November 8th, leading many to believe Trump's win was a game-changing boost for markets. The media calls it the Trump rally and interprets almost every market move in that context. They credit his deregulation, infrastructure, and tax cut plans with boosting markets. So, according to this theory, every legislative disappointment, like the House's recent failure to repeal Obamacare, is seen as a threat to stocks, which already priced in change based on hope. Folks fear the rally will collapse if Trump fails to secure a major legislative achievement soon. Spooky narrative, but evidence supporting this is shaky. If Trump was a game changer, market direction or leadership should have shifted. But the current rally actually dates back to February 2016, when the correction bottomed out. And even that is just the latest piece of an eight-year-old bull market. Nor has sector leadership changed much. Four of the five equity sectors that led markets after the correction's low point are still leading after Trump's election. The one now lagging, energy, was widely expected to benefit from Trump's win. Furthermore, if this rally were all about Trump, then we would expect U.S. stocks to outperform, or at least be near the top of global market performance. However, U.S. returns since Election Day are only middling relative to the 46 countries included in the MSCI All-Country World Index. The Trump rally theory can't explain strong returns in Germany, France, or Italy. Now, it is true U.S. investor sentiment has perked since the vote, but we doubt that's tied to Trump either, considering his approval ratings are extremely low. Rather, it seems more tied to the falling uncertainty after the election. We know who won, there was no contested election, and the weird and occasionally wild campaign ended. This allowed investors to look past the vote and see the solid economic fundamentals and gridlock governments around them globally. Little U.S. legislation is actually quite bullish when you consider the many ideas talked up in the administration. Order adjustment taxes, protectionist tariffs, drug price caps are all anti-business, which Trump rally proponents seem to forget. Trump entered office more feared than any Republican president we can recall, precisely because he was not the typical pro-business Republican candidate. Trump accomplishing little should positively surprise, boosting stocks. So, despite media and punditry saying otherwise, the recent run-up in stocks is not about Trump. It's more about falling uncertainty and an improving global economy. More falling uncertainty should come in 2017, this time focus on European politics. Continued fears about the alleged Trump slump suggest we still have much more wall of worry to climb. That's it for this edition of Market Insights. Thanks for watching.